man, what a depressing Monday as far as the news goes. Uh, we have had more mass shootings than we have had days in 2019. There's been about 249 mass shootings. There have been 215 days within the year. Um, that's a glaring statistic. We had shootings in uh, Ohio and Texas over the weekend. And once again, you know, we talk about mass shootings on this show. I've made this statement. I'll make it again. We are not going to see any gun policy within my lifetime. We're just not. It's not going to happen. And it's really sad that that's the case. I've never wanted to be wrong about anything more in my life. But uh, we're not going to see it. We're just not. Because, uh, you know, someone posted this meme. I, 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 you've probably seen it. It's circling around the blogosphere. But it's just a circle of things. It's just, you know, a shooting happens. People say thoughts and prayers. Republicans pontificate about uh, one perspective. Democrats pontificate about another perspective. Nothing happens. People forget another mass shooting happens. That's just the circle. That is the circle. Uh, neither political party will take on the NRA. It's not going to happen. Even though they are supposedly weaning in power, they still got the dollars. Um, we're not going to see a common sense weapons policy, a common sense gun policy in my lifetime. I firmly believe that to be true because they're killing our children. And no one's done a thing. If they go after the children and nobody cares, what what's it going to take? It's not, well, what's it going to take? It's like, no, they, they don't care. And as the onion points, there's no way to prevent this, says Nation, where the, it's the only place where this happens. I kind of butchered the headline. Their headline's way funnier. But, guys, I had a little bit of hope. I, I do have a little bit of hope here. Because finally, there's a politician out there who really gets it. And uh, and this lady, she's got a plan. She's got a plan to fix all this. And uh, man, she nailed it. I'm behind her 110%. Check this out. Look at this. Ohio lawmaker Candace Keller. She gets it. She knows who's to blame here. Uh, and if you couldn't tell by now, I am on the sarcasm slide. Uh, gay marriage and drag queen advocates. That's why the Dayton shooting shooting happened. Candace Keller, she gets it. A lawmaker in Ohio. That's her job, by the way. <laughs> She's a representative. Blame the breakdown of the traditional American family, gay marriage and drag queen advocates for the Dayton massacre in a since deleted Facebook rant. Oh, I can't imagine why she delete this gem. Well, let's just go ahead and look at the gem itself, shall we? Here you go. Here's what she posted. She has since deleted this. This is a representative, by the way. This is a person who is elected in office. Every, all right, here's a quote. After every mass shooting, the liberals start the blame game. Why not place the blame where it belongs? The breakdown of the traditional American family. Thank you, transgender, homosexual marriage, and drag queen advocates. Fatherlessness, a subject no one discusses or believes is relevant. The ignoring of violent video games. She took that straight out of, of out of a playbook from the mid '90s. The relaxing of laws against criminals, open borders in parentheses, just in case we didn't know, because that people who come here, people who are desperate and come here seeking asylum, they're criminals, according to people like her. Those are criminals. The acceptance of recreational marijuana, of course, because we all know every shooter is usually stoned. That, that's one of the, the, the most common side effects of pot. You smoke pot, and all of a sudden you're like, I got to shoot someone. <laughs> that's what happens when you get stoned. You got to just suppress it. Bill Hicks said it famously over 20 years ago. It's like, have you, have you ever seen an act of address, aggression committed by a stoner? No, because it's impossible. Bill Hicks has been saying that since the 90s. We've known that since forever. We realized a long time ago that Reefer Madness was just a bunch of propaganda on the behest of Big Pharma. All right, here we go. Let's check out more. Let's check out more of this gem. Uh, and I know it might be a little blurry for you guys, but I'll, uh, yeah. Okay, so, so that's our other thing. Pot, 
Failed school policies. Hello, parents who defend misbehaving students. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? She, she, she blames the, the parents? The parents of students are to blame for this because when the students misbehave, the parents are like, well, well, I'm, I'm on. And, and I get it. There is a lot of helicopter parenting uh, that, that, that kind of started. Um, I don't know when it started, really. I, I think it was like sort of right after my generation that kind of started. And, and I do agree there's a certain uh, that is a certain th that is an issue. And, and I'm actually not. I mean, does it have anything to do with uh, mass shootings? No. No, I think that's just her grasping at straw man big time. In case all the other gems she threw before wasn't enough to tell you, uh, I think that's kind of a straw man big time. Um, but I, I do have to say helicopter parenting uh, is something that's going on and is something um, or refers to the the truancy thing that Kamala Harris put. That's not what I'm referring to. Um, and I'm speaking as somebody who did teach some where I actually did occasionally hear from parents, I was teaching college. I was teaching community college. Whenever I heard from a parent, I never responded. I would talk directly to the student because I'm like, you're too old for that. I'm not speaking to your parent. Um, but anyway, that's kind of a side tangent, which by the way, has nothing to do with this topic. This is just a straw man that she threw out there. All right, let's see what other gems she has. All right, so... All right, misbehaving students, that's disrespect to law enforcement. You have got to be kidding me. Thank you, Obama. Yeah, yeah, because Obama really cracked down on police brutality. Obama, the Obama administration really did something about that. And over-militarized police has nothing to do with it. Disrespect to law enforcement. Hatred of our veterans. Thank you, professional athletes who hate our flag and national anthem. That This is Kaepernick's fault. This is Kaepernick. This is Ka <laughs> this was him. Obama, Kaepernick. If I didn't know any better, I'd say she uh, kind of likes to blame black people. I don't know. Can't help notice that trend. All right, let's see. This is a uh... man. This is true poetry, by the way. She should write a book. Um, the Democratic Congress, many members who are openly anti-Semitic. <sighs> right. Okay. The culture, which totally ignores the importance of God and the church until they elect a president. I, I don't even know what that part, until they elect a president. I don't know what that means exactly. Is, is she saying the religious right is sort of asleep until they vote for president? I, I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe it is. Uh, state office holders who have no interest whatsoever in learning about our Constitution and the Second Amendment, and snowflakes who can't accept a duly elected president. Did I forget anybody? The list is long, and the fury will continue. And she was so furious that she deleted this gem of a Facebook post that she made. She deleted this gem. Did I forget anybody? Yeah, you forgot, you forgot everybody. You forgot everybody. You forgot the economy of war that perpetuates violence all around the world. You forgot weapons manufacturers who are completely unregulated. You forgot uh, guns getting into the wrong hands through sales via magazines and gun shows and, and, and uh, not extensive enough background checks. You forgot uh, poverty in this country. You forgot uh, rugged neoliberalism and capitalism that has brought people in this country to their knees. You forgot uh, a unbending work culture. You forgot, you forgot everything. You mentioned nothing that has anything to do with gun violence. Helicopter parents, yeah, that's annoying. That's not why these mass shootings happened. Gay people. Are you kidding? How are you? How was all this shit not canceled by like 2003? How are people like this still in office? It blows my mind. I thought we got this. And, you know, 
you want to scapegoat the LGBT community, not only is that disgusting uh, on every level and couldn't be further from any level of accuracy, but also considering what happened in Orlando and you're going to go there, come on, come on. Like, like, I can't believe in 2019, there's still people like this woman who are in office. It's amazing. So anyway, that's Candace Keller's uh, words of wisdom. Finally, a politician who's doing something. Finally, someone. That's unbelievable. She's an elected official. And you wonder why we don't do anything about gun policy. You wonder why. You have nonsense like this. You have thoughts and prayers, which, by the way, I've said this before. I'll continue to say it. If you say thoughts and prayers, you should be required by law to make a cash donation to someone who's doing something about what you're thinking and praying about. The hands that do are way more uh, effective than the lips that pray. That's a quote from a famous feminist. I forget the name off the top of my head, but usually when I have that conversation with people, I tell them Jesus said it. Just to, <laughs> just to shake it up. I'm like, hey man, the hands that do are more effective than the lips that pray, Jesus. They're like, oh, he's well, it's open for interpretation. That's... All right, so there you go. Somebody is being vocal about our our uh, our shooting issue. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Plucker. Go through it together and make it our own. Get your 